Hey, welcome to Scripting Tweet, where you can learn all about JavaScript in short tutorials around three minutes or less. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, Google Apps Script and updating um, Firebase from Google Apps Script. So here, I'm going to show you. Um, this is a code. We'll go back to that in a minute, but we'll just overview of what uh, what is going to happen. So I'm using the update uh, method here. This is in the uh, Firebase library for App Script, which you can find in the description. In our data here, um, we have the quantity, and in our Firebase, we're updating the, the data here with this fruit array, uh, and there's an array of array there, and then there's something called something here, and then there's a total 76. So let's say I change the figs or change the grapes down to 10 and then uh, click on update. And you'll see it light up there that the, this uh, total number here changed. because And this one here changed as well, and the total changed. But this something wasn't uh, affected at all. So if I change this to set data, everything on here gets overwritten. And you'll see that the something disappears. So there is a difference between set data and update data. And essentially update data will uh, look for, for anything different on the data that you're sending and make sure that that uh, gets added onto the object inside of the Firebase. So what is happening here? So on line four here, I'm getting the, uh, the regular data range. And you'll see here, I'm using A1 and, and B. And I've removed the rows here so that I can pick up uh, all, all of from this A1 up here down to, the, to, to B. And then I get the values. And then the fruit range is that I'm getting the, the B column from B2 down to the bottom. And then just using a reduce function here to accumulate the numbers and, and, and to sum them together. And then I'm building an object. And then this object um, has a, a property of fruit, and that fruit contains the data. And so this data is that array of arrays, which you saw in the Firebase. And then the object uh, total uh, parameter is the total fruit. And then we're passing this object into Firebase and using this as the key, fruit1 as a key. So when it hangs on to, when it uh, uh, arrives at Firebase, it would take the fruit1 uh, key and add the object onto that as you saw in the in the firebase i hope this is uh helpful please add some uh, comments and likes and subscribes uh, if you found this useful and and helpful all right thank you very much